Okay, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, we're going into part two of what is Sagittarius season bringing in to us Scorpios. So as we left on part one, the Nine of Cups came up to clarify the energy of the King of Swords. And so I was seeing this both ways because the Nine of Cups came up in the reverse, but I was seeing it both ways. Okay, so it could be that when somebody comes in to talk to either the King or the Queen of Swords, that they're going to express that they want to have wish fulfillment with you, Scorpio. But since it came up in the reverse, it could be... You know, when this information comes to you and then just all of a sudden out of nowhere and somebody's saying, huh, you know, they want wish fulfillment with you, then somebody's going to be like, well, this sounds far too good to be true. What does this person got up their sleeve? So there's a little bit of suspicion energy that is going on with the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords is like my Sherlock Holmes. He's going to dot his I's, cross his T's. Do all the calculations and configurations in his head or her head, okay? What is this wish fulfillment, Archangel Michael, that is coming into the King of Swords for Sagittarius season, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <clears throat> uh, see, that's the reason why somebody thinks that it could be too good to be true because they don't know. Somebody here doesn't know <clears throat> if their person is going to be lying to them or trying to use some kind of trickery, you know what I'm saying? And But yet at the same time, somebody could be very expressive because, yes, we have a Prince of Wands here and somebody could be communicating energetically that they're done with the conflict in their environment and they can't let you go. This could be a very strong Capricorn coming in your direction, Scorpio, or vice versa doesn't have to be, but somebody here still feels this energetic bond to you, okay? And it could also be, too, another reason for some suspicions off of you, Scorpio, towards your person or vice versa is that, you know, is this person only coming to me because of the sex, okay? So we'll see. We'll see what the devil energy is bringing in, all right? Or they could be expressing... At the same time, because somebody here is getting out of conflict, flat out, if they're getting out of conflict, they could be say, hey, I'm done with the toxic energy. You know, if some of your partners had a drug addiction or something, maybe some of them are going to come back to you and say, hey, look, I, you know, guess what? I, I decided to go into rehab and, you know, I'm, it's a slow process, but, you know, I'm trying to take back control of my life. You know, that could be a topic of conversation for some of you in that situation, okay? Message from the devil, Archangel Michael, and what is the reason for this activity and wish fulfillment that is trying to come into whoever's in the King of Swords mode? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'll reveal that in just a moment, but I had another message from Spirit. Somebody could come back to you, Scorpio, and, you know, because they want to give you the world, you know, they may be coming in as a cry for help as well. Because somebody here is hoping and praying and wishing that things will get back on track and they're hoping that somebody here is going to take this generous offer. So they're going to try to reach out enthusiastically, express what has happened, what has gone on. They may say, you know what, I'm done with my <clears throat> toxic family members. I'm done with the karmic girlfriend. I'm done with the karmic boyfriend. You know, can we get together? Can we talk? You know, it's just, and you know, somebody here, I mean, yeah, somebody here during Sagittarius season is going to be very much on their guard. I get it. You know, but a lot of you, you know, you've been waiting for a while, you know, for your person to open up and be expressive. So a lot of you, you know, have been manifesting big time for your person to reach out and start communicating. That's the first step. If you're manifesting for your person, you manifest for them to reach out and communicate effectively. Because what I say to that, you know, if somebody's returning here, which I see it happening, somebody's getting unchained, getting out of their Harry Houdini self-imposed prison, 
they're just going to open up and be pretty much, I mean, they're going to be expressive and, you know, they may, I don't really want to say this. Um, they could have their head down in shame for some of them. Or they're just going to be very bold and upfront with you because that is how the emperor is. They could just say, look, I flat out, I made a mistake. You know, and you guys have been seeking justice from your person because if somebody's returning back, that means there's unfinished business. You guys, there's unfinished business between you and your person. If you're thinking about them, they're thinking about you. If their face comes up in your mind's eye, your face is coming up in their mind's eye. Remember, you guys mirror one another. You guys have energetic cords and ties and connections. And even when the physical intimacy happens between two people, guess what? You create another cord of energy on the sexual level, which is very powerful. Sex is very powerful, okay? It's a powerful energy that hits up the sacral chakra, the root and the sacral chakra. And sometimes, yes, the heart chakra as well. Those three areas. And so you get this emotional, when sex is happening, you guys get this emotional connection to your person. <clears throat> You know, and that could be another reason why they feel like they can't, you know, they can't let go because they did find you very passionate and very kind and loving and giving and whatever else. But somebody also here could be concerned too. If somebody comes in and expresses, somebody may be also concerned that their partner is going to be too clingy, you know, to cling on to you too much. But that may not happen. It's like 50-50 for some of them because some, some of them are leveling up here to the emperor. And like I said, they're really hoping and wishing and praying that you're going to take some kind of offer here. Show me what the devil activity is bringing in Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them during Sagittarius season, please. See, they're going to want to rush. And some of you may think that your person, you know, is going to be doing things in haste. Where they may want to rush in because now somebody here is showing me through the cards, somebody's energy through the cards is that they're breaking free. They're, they're going to stop being blindsided to the truth of third party situations and toxic family members. And now it's like they want to race and charge ahead for victory. But you bet, whoever's in the King of Swords mode, you're going to be, and I've said this before, this is like a few days back. I said, you guys are going to be pulling back the reins and you're going to be like, whoa, wait, wait, back up, back up. Okay. So, and it's not like you're not enthused. I've got enthusiasm and excitement here. Some of you might even get butterflies in your stomach because your person's reaching out to you and you're just, you might be, end up being like a deer in headlights. Your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, they know what broke the two of you apart. They made foolish choices. And I've got sirens going off in the background, so there, there's like confirmation. It's very faint. You guys wouldn't be able to hear it, but I can hear it. Usually when I hear sirens, things start to change up really fast, like all of a sudden out of nowhere. It's almost, it's somewhat kind of like, when I hear the sirens, there's like a tower moment that's going to get ready to happen. And it's not necessarily all in a negative way, because, you know, we need those tower moments in order to get us to where we need to be, despite the frustration of that energy. But somebody here is wanting to rush. And they just, you know, they could be, you know, stumbling over their words a bit because they're just, they're on this like adrenaline high because they're getting the hell away because somebody here is returning with the six of wands. And here we have this ace of pentacles energy. Show me what the ace of pentacles is bringing in, please, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
a rightfully owed apology, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy with the Prince of Cups. See, somebody's throat chakra wants to open up. Look at all this blue. Blue is the color of truth, honor, integrity, trustworthiness, honorability. They're going to come in meek. They're going to come in small. Okay? But we have this emperor energy here. Message from the Princess of Swords like the Knight of Swords. What is this rushed activity? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They are rushing away because they walked away from something or they are getting ready to walk away ASAP. It could be in the next eight days that your person could be walking away from something, Scorpio, or vice versa. Message from the Prince of Cups. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Patience. Sagittarius season coming in through the power of temperance, guardian angel activity, and ancestral help. Trusted ancestors that have this over the rainbow moment waiting for you guys. And they are trying to find the loopholes in order to bring the ebb and flow during Sagittarius season. Okay? Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. If you feel like you're getting a gut pull or you're having a vision or something, get a notebook and keep that notebook with you at all times and start writing the synchronicities down. Especially for those of you that are really trying to open up your third eye, your intuition, and the things that you're feeling and the things that you're seeing. This is very positive. I get internally as a reader, I get a sigh of relief. Whenever I see temperance, because there's this comforting feeling coming in through the activity of celestial help. What are they walking away from, Archangel Michael? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whether this be Scorpio and their environment and what's going on with them, or if this is the cross watcher under Scorpio and they're getting ready to walk away from something. What is this? Okay. The reason why they're walking away is because they're tired of feeling stuck. They're tired of being bored at the same time. And it could be that they got the revelation. See, this guardian angel has two cups, but is defying gravity. This cup is de defying gravity. It's coming out of thin air. This water is not dripping down to the ground. Again, celestial help creating an ebb and flow for the roads to be smooth. And then that one cup, because no matter if the water's flowing this way or if it's flowing this way, it don't matter. The bottom line is, is that there's action that's going on here. And now this cup coming in from the angel to wake somebody up. So somebody could be getting a divine revelation or intuition or something is just going to go, aha, snap. Like they're just going to like, whoa, wait a minute. And it could just be a major wake up call. So that's another reason why somebody here is gearing up to walk away, walk away from toxicities, walk away from the conflict, people and places and things and situations in their life that is no longer serving their highest purpose. And the same for you, Scorpio, because a lot of you guys have gone through a lot of BS energy through 2020. It's not just the pandemic. It's how we've responded. How have we internally have responded to our environment to the way of people's behaviors. And, you know, there is a lot of aggression going on in the world right now. And we're all affected by it. And your person's being affected by it. You're being affected by it. I'm being affected by it. So, and the only way to not feel those repercussions in order for you guys to manifest, you know, for your soulmate is to, again, put up your walls of protection. Because all of this worldly activity that's going on, it is affecting our minds, you guys. It is affecting the way that we think and our thoughts are what become our reality. And so your person, you know, could have created excuses 
about the pandemic and all of this stuff and the reason not, you know, not to see you and everything. And, and it's, you guys, spiritual protection, spiritual protection. So that is another reason why your person was also too having a hard time walking away. Now, some of you guys are in communication with your person, but it could still be a little bit like a roller coaster ride, you know, not knowing if they're going to give you commitment. When are they going to open up? They've been closed off for some of them, you know. And then, of course, some of your partners are at a physical distance from you. Because that Six of Wands is also indicating that, you know, if somebody's traveling by horse, could mean that this person, yeah, is coming in from a distance or emotionally they've been an emotional distance from you because of the third party situation because of the devil activity okay the toxicities and the lower vibrational energies message from temperance one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen to bring in this, you guys, this is what you guys have been striving for. The Ten of Pentacles. Foundation, structure, stability, long-term commitments for those of you who want marriage. And trusted, trusted family members that are going to support this relationship and not freaking tear it down. Bottom line. Message from the Four of Cups. One, two, three, four. Yeah, see, waking up, this angel is trying to wake your person up intuitively to say, hey, hey, wake up to this meddling energy. Get the hell away from it. And I got dogs barking, so you got confirmation. Hang on a second. So the five of swords, dirty bird conflict. Somebody here trying to walk away from this BS. Message from the five of swords, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five. Now they want to take a risk, a chance, and a gamble. Some of you guys are waiting very strongly for a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag. For some of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Message from the King of Wands. Like I said, they could be at a distance from you or they are spying in on social media to see what you're up to, see how you're looking, all of that. You know, if you've got a YouTube channel, they could be spying in on that. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. We've got Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or an Aquarius to be more specific. But this is about ending old cycles, old chapters, and starting anew. And somebody here, like I said, if you're in the king or queen of swords mode, you know, you may end up finding that it's it's too good to be true. Like, what? I'm actually seeing my person in front of me, you know? So here, with the world card, you know, this is about closing out old chapters. And this could also be about family lineage. So walking away, walking away from the family, toxic family members. In fact... Show me that energy, Archangel Michael. 21 and 8 is 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Because they could have found out some secrets about some family members. Mm hmm or somebody here is walking away from a Pisces or an Aquarius more specifically does not have to be for the meddling energy their name could start with the letter B or the letter J walking away from secrets could be family secrets things that came out into the light which probably pushed somebody hermit activity help me Obi-Wan Kenobi you're my only hope which probably pushed your person possibly into hermit mode so they've been going through the dark night of the soul because they're trying to figure out for some of them what to do with all this information what to do with the heartbreak the pain the third party situations they know that they're getting ready to walk away but there were secrets what the hell were these secrets one two with these family members what's up ten of cups 
Somebody, okay, a couple of variable but different messages. Somebody here could find out that the person that they were dealing with, okay, could have been married to somebody else, okay? And that's the reason why maybe your person, Scorpio, may be walking away because there was probably a secret marriage going on somewhere else, okay? That's one scenario I'm picking up. The other thing, too, with family lineage, they tried to destroy it. I got a devil. I got the five of wands. I have a three of swords, eight of swords. Somebody trying to get out of that BS energy. And, of course, the sparkling conflict. Five of swords. Tell me more about the ten of cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Found some secrets out possibly about a mother figure to be more specific. It could be a Pisces, an Aries, a Taurus, or a Libra. Mother figure to be more specific. Or somebody found out about a secret pregnancy or found out that the baby is not theirs. Tell me about this, Empress. One, two, three. Looks like somebody here wants to come in and apologize about all of this mess, this chaos, the secrets. It's a connection between the Empress and this Princess of Cups. This is like the Knight of Cups. What's going on here? Let's see. Three and, uh, let's see. Twelve and three is fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and mind you, the number 15 is for the devil card, just FYI. Yes, there were secrets, things that were hidden by a mother figure or baby mama drama, daddy baby drama, whatever the case may be, somebody's going to find out the truth and it's going to put them at a freaking crossroads. And then so temperance comes in, ancestors come in, they find the loopholes and they start waking your person up because you know what? If your person doesn't hurry up and wake up to the truth by now, they're going to keep getting tower moment after tower moment after tower moment until something happens. Cancerian energy could have been a Pisces that was holding back secrets, possibly. Or take the roles how they resonate. I know I've got Pisces and other water sign um, besides Scorpios. So take the roles how they resonate, you guys. Message from the moon. What was this mother figure hiding? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. She almost wanted to screw me up with my counting. She wanted to put an end to your relationship, Scorpio. So to the... Scorpio, if you had a mother figure that got in the way of your relationship, she had it freaking planned. Comes up all the time, you guys. Know that situation all too well because guess what? There's a tower moment on the bottom of the deck. What did I just say? Power of the numbers, you guys. What was the connection between this mother... And what Sagittarius season's trying to bring in here? What was the connection between the Empress and the Devil? What, what the hell's going on with this? Let's see. 15 and uh, 3 is 18, which also represents the energy of the moon. There are no coincidences. If I see the energy, I'm going to do it. Let's see what's up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Twin flame, soulmate, 1111 connection. These mother figures had it planned to break you two apart. This mother figure or these mother figures out there, they can run, but they can't hide. Oh, they are in for a whirlwind of trouble trouble because these mother figures wanted to screw with fate and destiny mm. the 
this mother figure knew how much you were in love with your person, Scorpio, or vice versa. Message from the sign of Scorpio. Power of number 13. Some of you guys like the number 13. Reverse it around. It's the number 31. Some of you guys like the number 31. 13, 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Somebody here was trying to defend and stand up for this relationship. It might have been you, Scorpio, up against a mother figure and their son or the daughter and the mother, however it rolls, or another family member, but I'm smelling a mother figure, okay? Somebody was trying to forewarn their person to stand up to this mother figure that was creating a lot of chaos and a lot of drama. She cannot be trusted. Of course, bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius mother figure to be more specific. The sad part about it is, is that <clears throat> your person, if you guys know specifically, both you and your person know that a mother figure broke the two of you apart, your person knows that you were right about her. They've got so much damn pride and ego. <laughs> that they don't want to admit it, but you know what? If they keep holding back, that person of yours, Scorpio, hmm. Look out. We've got tower moment. We got tower moments on the freaking way, and there's going to be more drama until somebody hurries up, and then they're going to be racing and charging ahead to the king or queen of swords. With all of this rushed energy, they're going to be a little hyper. Yep, I got the dogs barking in the background. Yep. Oh, yeah. My, 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 my. Sagittarius season's going to be interesting, no doubt. No doubt. So, you know, be prepared either way, you guys. Be prepared for anything, okay? And in the meantime, while you're preparing yourself, start focusing on the rest of your goals, the things that you need to finish up before the end of 2020. You know, whatever, you know, you cannot, you know, technically get finished before the end of the year. Don't be hard on yourself, okay? Don't be hard on yourself. Call in, the, call in on the energy of Sagittarius to give you the energy reserve, to give you that last push over those hurdles or the mountains or the mohills that you feel challenged by, to give you that surge of energy, to keep you going, to keep you motivated right now, despite the stupid-ass chaos, okay? So... Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. Thank you to the power of Archangel Michael and the energies of the sign of Sagittarius to help us get through this Sagittarius season, to give us energy, to give us courage and strength, to know when there's snakes in the grass, to use our best intuition, and to also call in on our trusted ancestors to guide us every single step of the way. And to show us what we need to do next in regards to our life's highest purpose. So that our lives can be beautiful and harmonious, prosperous, full of health, wealth, and abundance. Right? And so it is. If you'd like to book a reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. A one-hour recorded reading is only $15, but you're allowed only up to three questions because those three questions 
will take up the full hour. And uh, sometimes spirit has me interject or throw in sometimes another question. Um, some, if I see something that I think needs to be addressed, then I'll go ahead and address the situation. So until next time, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, stay blessed.